Hey there, folks. Bill here, and welcome to our High Vault Solar Tutorial Factory. So, this here is what we will be building today. It is quite large, thinking pushing 30 by 20, or around that sort. Is a little bit intricate, but hopefully the end goal is to fully automate the creation of these. Now, let's uh, take a look at what we'll be needing. Firstly, this machine is entirely dependent on how fast you can make solar panels. So I'll leave a uh, link in the description to my solar panel setup that I have here, a tutorial I did on this. So as you can see, I am using two of these. Since you need about 512 solar panels for one high volt. So it can be quite slow. Now also, what we'll also be needing is a bit of uh, rubber and refined iron. Now I won't be having uh, the production of these in my setup, as you can sort of see. But what I have done is, what I would also suggest doing if you are using, say, a uh, filter or a sorting system to supply uh, all the materials to different chests, maybe whack something along the lines of... Uh, one of these in here. So since I'd have sticky resin coming from where I'm producing it, going through the machines, then being put in the sorting system like so, makes it a little bit easier. So that is just uh, one of the things we'll need. And what else will we need? Well, we're going to need 27 retrievers. Don't have to use retrievers, you could use uh, transposers. They're much cheaper. The only difference is they don't take items out in stacks. So they will be a bit slower, but you could say use retrievers uh, for most of the automatic crafting tables, and just use retrievers for the um, taking items out of the chests or whatnot. We'll need a screwdriver, some pneumatic tubes, a few stacks of these preferably. I'll be using wireless receivers. You could just uh, place timers or use uh, redstone pipes or whatnot, but I'll be using this hooked up to a timer since it's a little bit easier. If you're going to be using wireless receivers, or if you want to make it a bit more compact, I would suggest getting some uh, covers, make it much quicker and much easier. I'll be using a bit of red aloe wire, just to hook up some receivers. And that is probably about what you'll need for the build. Now let's look at the materials we'll be using. We'll be using some uh, wooden planks, gold ingots, Diamonds, redstones, rubber, quite a fair bit actually, same with the refined iron, and copper, and of course the solar panels. And I'll probably just suggest getting any sort of chest, just somewhere for you to stick the finished product in. So if you give me a quick second, I'll go and uh, destroy all this and rebuild it for you. Alrighty then. So now we've got ourselves a clean slate here. Now uh, let's just go through what I've set up so far. So as you can see, here's our chests with all of our different materials in. I think we'll start on this side. So you just maybe want to follow uh, this sort of setup, will make it much easier. So on the far right, we've got our solar panels that we'll be using. And then moving onwards, we'll then be using rubber. I'm doing uh, two block gaps. If you really want, you could probably... Uh, just have one block gaps and use some covers, make it a lot more compact than uh, mine will be. So we've got ourselves rubber, then we've got copper, uh, then we've got our wooden blocks. So this here would all be for the low volt transformers and, of course, the low volt uh, solar relays. And moving on to our medium volt section, we'd have our gold ingots. These would be for the wires. Rubber again. As I was saying, you'll be using quite a fair bit of this. And refined iron. So this here is us done for medium volt transformers. And moving on, we then got ourselves our copper again. More rubber. More refined iron. And then redstone and diamonds. So this here would be for high volt, of course. And, of course, I've just set up some retrievers, and as you can see, I've got my timers. Or just uh, set up for these retrievers using the red alloy wire. And I think we'll get started then. 
So let's get started on our low volts then. So let's see, what will we be needing for this? Well, first things first, let's make ourselves our wires. So just hooking these up to the copper and rubber, and we'll link them together right here. And there's our Mac crafting table. So we'll have rubber coming in one side, and copper in the other, and that'll give us our copper wires. Now just shift clicking while placing these so I don't open the interface. And once again, once we uh, set up the retriever using the screwdriver, like so, the output will be at the top. Well, for my uh, texture pack, I don't have one, so this is default. The yellow side is the input, and that small hole up top there is the output. So you want to put your pneumatic tubes just on the top there. Like so. So there's our wires. And now what else we'll need is wood. So we'll run this out about to... Let's just run it up like so. And we'll place another crafting table like so. So for this, so for our low volt, what we'll be needing is wires, wood and copper. So we'll just place another tube like so. Now, by the looks of it, I've already stuffed that bit up. That's just fantastic. No matter. Oh, we'll be fine anyway. So this is what I meant by covers coming into great use here. So shift clicking once again, placing this on top. Now this is where you'll be wanting to use your covers. These are why they are extremely useful. So if you just want to place any sort of cover like so, and let's if I can get one up here, there we go. Like so, what the covers do is since the pneumatic tubes only take up half a block, you can place covers to uh, stop the connection of any of the pipes like so. So let's just keep moving on. So what do we have here so far? We've got our low volt transformers all made, now we just need to hook up our solar panels. So we'll just run out this one extra block, so we don't need to use covers again. And here's our solar panel, so we'll just hook this up to our crafting table. Like so. And there we have it folks, a low volt solar relay. Automated, sort of, at the moment. So this is the first section done, so we'll leave this for a little bit later, and let's move on to making our meeting vault. So what we'll need for this will be insulated gold wires. So we'll be taking our gold, put this straight into a crafting table. Another retriever on top like so. And we'll just run this out too. So what this will be doing is turning our gold into wires. Now for the next step what we'll need is we'll have our gold wires coming in and we'll need our rubber. So this here will be uh, insulating it for us, like so. And there's our insulated gold wires. Now medium volts are quite easy to make since they are just gold wires and machine blocks. So here's our refined iron. Run this straight into a crafting table. And this will be our um, machine blocks. Now what we've got to do is hook these two up. So let's just uh, run this to about here. This will do. Like so. And there's our medium volt. Transformers. Now what we'll need to then do to get our solar panels is we'll just run this down get a bit of a gap like so since we'll be needing to use uh, medium volt transformers later. Run this down about a gap of two and hook this up to our low volt solar panels which are outputting from here. So once again like I've been saying you could make this a lot more compact than it is since I do have the space available and I also do prefer to have a large gap since it makes it look a bit neater. But there is a fair bit of uh, space wasting in this one. So, there we go, got our 
medium volt transformers coming out, low volt solar, solar arrays coming in, and here we'll have our medium volt solar arrays. So that's section two done. Now this, uh, now let's get on to high volt. Now this will be a bit more complicated, a bit more confusing, I would say. But, no worries. So then, let's uh, get started. I think we'll start with the iron, since uh, this will be the biggest pain in the ass to set up right. So for this one, I'll be making a bit of a prong, a uh, Y sort of section coming out. And for this one, so let's see, we've got our refined iron, got a bit of a U section coming out. And on the furthest right one, I think we'll be placing our automatic crafting table since we'll be needing to make a, um, need to turn the refined iron into wires and then insulate them. Get some high volt cables coming out. So this here will be our uninsulated high volt cables. Run this out too, then drop it off. Then we'll be running it a bit further forward, about two blocks. And this is where we'll be insulating it with our rubber over there. So now we'll just hook this up. Our rubber up to the second crafting table. And there's our, and this will be our insulated high volt cables. Now let's go and make ourselves our um, copper cables. So we'll run this out to place a crafting table right next to it and hook up our rubber. And this here will be our copper cables for our circuits. Place a retriever on top, shift clicking while I'm doing it, and running out a pneumatic tube again. Like so. So let's see, what do we have so far? We've got our high volts. But uh sorry, we got our high volt cables, got our copper cables, and we want to be making our circuits. So for us to do this. Let's see how we'll do it. How will we do it? I think I'll just run this all the way down. Our iron. Like so. And let's just place ourselves. Crafting table right here. Why not? So this here will be our iron for our circuits. Now we need to hook up our copper cables. So we'll just hook up this retriever, this tube and run it out like so. So then we've got our copper cables, our iron, now all we need is our redstone. So we'll just run over here and run this all the way out. Like so. Oops. Went too far. Uh, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, and thank you. And there we have it. That's our circuits done. Now we won't run out our retrievers just yet, what we will do is make our energy crystals. So for this we'll be needing diamonds and redstone. Run this out like so, and just hook up our redstone. There we are, and that will be our energy uh, crystals, red, so and whatnot. And we'll run this out like so. So now that is all of our machines basically made. Made. So now it's just the uh, goal of trying to combine them all. So let's see. We'll set up our pneumatic tubes, just get everything ready. And then we can uh, figure out how we're going to do it. So what do we have so far? We've got our circuits. We've got our energy crystals. High volt cables. And we'll need medium volt transformers which will be from this spot. So let's see... For this I think we'll run our high volt cables out, actually. Place it uh, one block away so they don't connect. And we'll place ourselves our crafting table right there. Just straight line from high volt cables or whatnot. Now let's run this out too drop it and we'll hook this up to one of the other sides. So that's our circuits, high volt cables, and now we'll run our energy crystal over. So just going in one block since I have a red power lift there which I don't particularly want to go over. Need to run this out a bit further. Whoops. 
they are two so they don't connect and there we go now all we need to do is hook up our medium volt transformers so this is why I said we'll leave a gap of about two just so we can tap into that like so and run this out to our high volts and that is everything we got our crystals high volt cables circuits and medium volt transformers so now we'll just place ourselves our retriever run out another tube and now it's time to combine our medium volt solar arrays to this so we'll run this out too this here is our medium volt solars place a crafting table like so and now we'll just run this one out I'm going to go out to the right too just because I've got a pipe sticking out from there hook this up like so stick a retriever on top and let's just run out of pipe and grab ourselves our chest and there we have it folks once we've set up all the recipes that'll be our high volt transformers looking almost identical now for the fun part of changing the orientation of all of our retrievers so we'll just grab our screwdriver just a stick and a bit of iron and you just keep on right clicking it until the yellow is facing the crafting table so now we'll just need to do this to all of them like so and after this bit we will uh, we start setting up all of our wireless receivers and whatnot. Now this here was a request by two friendly blokes so if you have any uh, builds that you want me to make for you feel free to leave a comment or send me a message now just as a bit of a side note I have been accepted into the uh, Australian Armed Forces and I'll be leaving just in just under two weeks so if you have any requests, try to send them in as quick as you can, since once I'm in, I'll be unavailable for about a minimum of three months until I'll be uh, able to go back onto the uh, internet and whatnot again. Just a bit of a side note. So let's see, once you've fixed up all the retrievers, now it's time to place all of our, uh, trans I mean, all of our wireless receivers. Now this here is where our covers will come into play. So as you can see what I've done here is I've just placed a receiver and used some red alloy wide connect 2 to 1 just for a bit of space saving. So once you've set up all of those we'll start uh, placing all these. Now I've got these all set to channel 10 that is what I have a timer on which is pulsing every one second And here we go. Let's just go around, place these on every single one. You can place the covers on top. Like so. There's another receiver we forgot to fix. And so just double check to make sure your retrievers are right. Alrighty then. So after you've gone and placed all your retrievers, I mean all your uh, receivers, last receivers. Now it's time to uh, start placing all the crafting recipes. Let's just lower this down by a second. So as you can see all of our items are now uh, moving on so let's start the recipes. So we'll start here with our cables. So this here is just three rubber on top, three rubber on bottom like so. There's our cables going. Now for this one, it is. Uh, let's see if I remember. I believe it's copper in each. I believe it's a uh, wood in each corner. Copper in the bottom there, and just a wire and a wire. Yep, there we go. That's our low volt transformers. You can see we've started these up, and now it's time to get uh, make ourselves our. Uh, solar panels. 
So it's just low volt transform in the middle, eight solar panels around. Then there's our low volt solar panels going for it. Now let's move on to this one here. So for this it is a gold ing ingot. It's just gold in a three in a row, like so. Sent a ingot through, or well, nugget, whatnot. Now for this it will be one cable, like so, and just two rubber place around it. And that'll make our two times insulated gold cable. Now let's make our machine blocks. So machine block is just eight refined iron in a square there. Send a bit empty. And there's our machine block. Let's just throw these away. Don't need those. So for our medium volt. Oops. What have I done there? Oopsie daisies. For our medium volt transformer, it's just a gold cable at the top and bottom and a machine block in the middle. And there's our medium volt transformers. Now I'll just stuck 24 refined iron. Let's get rid of that. So for our medium solar array, once again, medium uh, transformer in the middle, eight low volt arrays around it like so. That's our medium volts. Now let's move on to our high volts over here. Once again, we'll be making some more copper cables. Just three, just six rubber and three copper in the middle there. And there's our cables going for it. Now for this, what is this? This will be our high volt uh, cables. That is just three iron in a row. Like so, that makes our high volt cables, refined iron, sorry. And for this it'll be, just stick one high volt cable in, and it'll be three rubber. Like so, that'll make our four times insulated high volt cable. As you can see, it's gone four over there. Now we need to make our circuits, which is three copper cables at the bottom. Ooh, two redstone one either side, and one refined iron smack bang, smack bang in the middle there. There's our electronic circuits. Now what else we'll need is to make our energy crystal. So it's a diamond in the middle, surrounded by redstone there. Like so. So let's just see if we have everything that we'll be needing. Let's just throw that away. Let's see. Electronic circuit cables, and soon to have our energy crystal. So the only thing we are missing here is medium volt transformers. So we'll walk over to our little medium volt transformer factory here, and we'll just, I don't know, nick a few, grab six or so, like so. And we'll put these into our high volts. So for to make a high volt transformer, it is one in the middle, a medium in the middle, two uh, insulated cables, one at the top, one at the bottom, and I believe energy crystal on the right, electronic circuit on the left. And there's our high volt transformers. So this will take a while to get started. It needs to make it quite a fair few of everything. And by that I mean uh, going to need to wait for this to fill up with transformers before we'll start sending them over here. But it won't take too long since it's just gold and iron. But once it gets started, it'll keep on going. But as I said again, it all depends on how fast you can make solar panels. So let's just take a look in here. What's this? Still need another solar panel, do I? Well, that's a bit annoying. Let's just go down here. This is currently off. Let's just grab a few, I think. And that should be enough. 19. Oh, will it? Screw it, let's just turn these on, I'd say. Let's just whack this on. This here is just turning on my solar panels, factories. As you can see. Since I'm a bit too lazy to collect nuts of solar panels. 
So unfortunately, like I said at the beginning, it's quite a few solar panels for high volts. And now we'll just need to quickly wait for these. But let's move on to here. So to make a high volt solar panel, high volt transfer in the middle and surrounded by medium voltages like so. And that, folks, is about uh, that. That's our high volt transformer. I hope it helped. I hope it showed you something. I hope you learned a few things. And also don't forget, I'm still taking requests for another week or so to try to get those in as quickly as you can. And hopefully I'll get this out as quick as I can. Not like this one, where it's about a six-day wait. Fortunately, I was a little bit busy. But, yeah. Hope this helps, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.